example 2.10 or 3.10 for both textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, there is a rigid tank which contains a hot fluid which is being cooled by being stirred by a paddle wheel. Initially, the internal energy of the fluid is equal to 800 kilojoules. During the cooling process, the fluid loses 500 kilojoules of heat and the paddle adds 100 kilojoules of work to the fluid. We need to determine the final internal energy of the fluid. While neglected, the energy is stored in the paddle wheel. This is the list of the known values of the problem as well as what we need to find. And the assumptions for the problems as provided, we are going to neglect the energy stored by the paddle wheel. We are going to use a constant volume since it's a rigid tank and the tank is also stationary. Therefore, we're going to neglect the changes in potential and kinetic energy. In order to solve this problem, we're going to do a balance of energy. We're going to say that the energy change in the system is going to be equal to the amount of energy transfer, um, the net energy transfer in the system. That means that it's going to be the amount of energy going in minus the amount of energy leaving the system. When we talk about the change of energy in the system, we're talking about changes like kinetic energy, potential energy, and internal energy. So we write something like kinetic energy, change of it, change in potential energy, and the change in internal energy. Notice that we only use internal energy since this is a closed system. And the amount of energy in and the amount of energy out. So we're just simply going to rewrite it this way so that we could cancel it in a second. Since we have a stationary uh, tank, we do not have any changes in potential energy or kinetic energy. So these two values um, are away. Therefore, the change of internal energy is equal to the amount of energy in minus the amount of energy out. For this particular problem, the amount of energy going in is the amount of work done by the paddle and the amount of energy leaving is the amount of heat being released by the system. Therefore, when we write the amount of, ener amount of internal energy change, the amount of energy in is going to be the amount of work going in minus the amount of heat leaving. We're going to write the amount of U. The work going in is going to be 100 um, kilojoules and what is leaving it's 500 kilojoules. Therefore, the change of the internal energy is going to be equal to minus 400 kilojoules. The change of internal energy is equal to U2 minus U1, and that is equal to what we said 400 kilojoules. U2 is going to be minus 400 kilojoules plus the amount of the internal energy at the beginning, which is equal to 800 kilojoules. We add these two values together, and that gives us 400 kilojoules. So this is the value of the internal energy at the end of the process. Notice once again, we added the amount of energies in the system, and those are gonna be the changes in kinetic, potential energy, and internal energy. And then we also, and that had to be equal to the amount of energies going in, energies going out. And in this case, we only had work going into the system and heat leaving the system. And that's how we arrived to this value.